FNN. Headline News Update. Sunny, mostly sunny, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we have a slightly mixed bag out here. All the indices trading to the downside, the exception being the Russell 2000. She's up five points. The Dow's off 78, two tenths of a percent, S&P 25, a half a percent, NASDAQ 100, one and a quarter percent, or 179 points. You've got gold trading out at 1840, that's up four bucks. Silver's down 17 pennies, 23.34 is her print. Uh, lights we crude up two bucks, 92.03 is the print natural gas off about a nickel. And uh, let's go take a look at our nine panel market update charts. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini in the upper left hand side. So, what we know right now is that uh, what do we know? We've taken out yesterday's low. We're trading below yesterday's low. That would suggest that maybe we see lower price. That would be confirmed by the spot volatility, which is trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 22.37. The spot VIX is trading out at 24.56. In the case of the NASDAQ 100, the NASDAQ is trading below yesterday's low. It's trading into a real key level of support here. So here's where we really find out where the metal where the, where the rubber meets the road, so to speak. And that's this. If we're to see a close today below 14, 484, 90, well, one, that will suggest that we get down to the low of 14, I'm 13,973, the bottom of the daily profile. And that will get us back basically very close to testing last Monday, the January 24th. Um, bottom was last Monday, it was a couple Mondays ago out there. So what really key level to be watching here is going to be the 14,484 level inside the NQ. The U.S. dollar index, even though you can't see it here on this screen, prices run right up into the oscillator and change line. So that's a resistance point. So we don't have really any kind of a breakout to the upside. You do, in a sense, for Goldilocks, it is trading above the top of its daily and weekly profile. It should go target that 1850 level, that descending trend line. Of course, taking out the descending trend line would then send it back to its most recent high. That's the swing point here from the trading day of January the 25th. That high out there is 1856. Silver has held the bottom of its bullish Structured weekly profile, daily profile. So it should want to run to the 2392 level. And if Lightsweed Crude is able to close above the high from the trading session of February 4th, that high out there is 9317. It'll negate its TD9 count signal and say we are headed higher. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z show. But if you're off to start your Friday, have a fantastic one. We'll look forward to seeing you back here on Valentine's Day. Have a fantastic weekend, folks.